You don't know you have enough real youth when I do them things there. Eh? When I support that, you understand? If I was to be white, I would be born white from my mother. No, truly, me can't explain that, but me love my women, me love my black women. And may I tell you straight, all right, come back to this issue because the black men love the white women them and the white men love the black women them. I want secret me can tell you the best thing is a mixed pre picnic, you know. Them pretty like what? Them only making a idiot of themselves because no matter how them bleach out straight up, them identification still there, still a black man or a black woman. So do you think that this might be like a reflection of like some remnants of slavery, how they had the house slave that was the lighter skin, when they had the field slave that was the dark skin, and you know, there was always that division between slaves back in the day. You think that that has penetrated into present day and that's why people are trying to get this lighter skin, or you think that it has nothing to do with that? It's just a trend. No, it don't have nothing to do with back, 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 back like in the days with um, our slavery business and all that. Mm -hmm. No, it's with what the artist is going with in the dance art. Boy, before we born in a long, long time, years that happened on earth. It's just for one reason. And what you is know, it? they just bleach just because, you know, it's their life, they're living their life, you know. People living their life, they want to look cool, they want to, they, people bleach just because they want to make sure their tattoo is showing well, pretty and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you could see, you see what I'm saying? If I get, if I, if I bleach right now, you could, you could stay a, a mile and see this. So why do you think that the influence that the, the Europeans left in Jamaica was so strong that it, you know, was in the culture of, even to this day, you know, yes. people are still bleaching their skin. Matter of fact, they're doing it even crazier than they ever did it before. Right. Why do you think that that um, that effect was just so lasting? The, the history of slavery, I am trying to tell you that when I was growing up, they had a song, a very derogatory song that we sang that denigrated black women. They said, black skin girl. Go home and boil hog pot. Black skin girl, go take care of the hogs. Brown skin girl, come home and um, stay in the house. Black people were very derogatory towards each other. And so we were denigrating ourselves, you see. And it was very, very um, upsetting to be black in Jamaica. So it's kind of similar to think what happened in America. They call him house slaves and field slaves. It's funny because in Germany, everyone tries the exact opposite because they try to be brown mm. so they don't, don't try to bleach their skin they try to get really dark yeah. as dark as possible in the holidays because of that all the tourists are laying in the sun all day you actually do all this stuff to make your skin darker yes it's the darker the skin the better i feel the more um healthier I look. Mm. I think that they're beautiful. I love that dark, dark, dark skin. They just feel like they're mistreated and and they don't like the way that maybe men take to them or it's a self-esteem thing. I think really you just have to feel beautiful within yourself. We white people love to get suntan. So to be serious right now and, and go forward, even in Germany or in the whole of Europe and the US, you know that, people run and get suntan all over in the summertime they go beach in the winter time they go to the solarium lie under the light to get dark you understand so we don't understand why black people try to get white and why people dark make everybody stay like him done <laughs> <laughs> so i mean do you think it's the same that that white people are trying to get darker and that the you know black people jamaica yeah. trying to get light? do you think yeah. it's like them they're, they're doing yeah. the same thing it's like opposite Up. uh, opposite but the same yeah okay. normally you see a white guy you try to burn up in the sun to try to get a little bit dark like us and you know black man he, he wants to become white yeah it turned out good for me but you know it's, it was right. a little rough you know what i'm rough. saying ah. i know i know the i know the journey of bleaching mm. yeah it's a rough journey yeah it's a rough it's journey dark, be hard, I think. any advice for um the young black people in jamaica today who are 
rampantly bleaching their skin. I would say to them, seek education, you see? And the skin, the bleached skin is no longer necessary. Any dark-skinned people who want to turn white need psychiatric intervention. They really do. They need to be reassured that they're black and beautiful. Our skin, the black skin, is very strong. We don't age as fast as our counterparts, whether Indians or Hispanic or Caucasian. We are ageless. Our skin has less wrinkles. And another point about um, the dangers of bleaching your skin. You acquire a lot of um, wrinkles. You age very rapidly. So I would advise people who want to look ageless, avoid bleaching your skin. So why are Jamaicans bleaching their skin? Some would suggest that this could be a mental illness, while others would say that they have been so deeply influenced by colonization that they still see their blackness as inferior to white. Are they attempting to make themselves more marketable in the workforce in a poverty-stricken country where employers still discriminate against darker-skinned people? Or is it simply just a trendy expression of the dancehall subculture? There's one thing for certain, and that is that skin bleaching causes long-term damage, not just to your skin, but to your overall health. We should all learn to embrace the qualities that make us unique, even though for some, the grass is always greener on the other side. Alright, so you yeah. want to do one, two, three. Thank you, Jolie!